New tonight, tense, tough moments for some families at Freeman Coliseum this weekend after they were kept out of a high school graduation. Tonight, the school district at the center of it all is apologizing. Eyewitness News reporter Andrea Martinez joins us now. And Andrea, you spoke with an aunt who missed her niece's big moment. That's right. Now this all happened on Saturday night at East, sorry, Saturday morning at East Central High School's graduation. The woman I spoke with tells me she and many other family members waited over half an hour to park only to be held up at the door. You can imagine their frustration. Take a look. It's not every day that your child graduates from high school. And this is not how you'd expect to spend the big day outside of the venue. That was the reality for many family members on Saturday who couldn't get into Freeman Coliseum during East Central's graduation. She was upset. I mean, the tears are just pouring. Raquel Garcia is an aunt to one of those graduates. She recorded this video. She started telling me that that um, her husband had died like four years ago. She was the only parent that, that this young lady had. Raquel says officers at the door told them the building was at capacity. A spokesperson for the Freeman Coliseum tells us that's true. The Bear County Fire Marshal made that call. Eventually, officers let people in as others came out. My niece had already walked the stage. Um, which is pretty upsetting, especially for my mom being 78. I mean, of course, she wants to see her, her grandkids graduate. Derek Howard, executive director of the venue, tells us this is an issue with many schools. He told us with up to 750 students walking, the crowds are just getting too big. He said it's up to each district to implement some sort of ticket system, something he says he will strongly encourage ECISD to do next year. A similar situation happened at Freeman Coliseum on Sunday with Madison High School's graduation. A spokesperson there tells us the principal sent out reminders telling parents to arrive early. ECISD sent us their statement saying they deeply regret anyone being denied access to the graduation ceremony. This year, the issue was exacerbated by short notice of limited parking and increased traffic due to a simultaneous event at the AT&T Center. ECISD will continue to review options and choose what is most beneficial for our community. Now that event the district is talking about is a WNBA game. The San Antonio Stars were playing at the AT&T Center next door. ECISD also told us they did provide shuttles from parking lots to the venue doors. They are considering bigger venues for future graduations. Andrea Martinez, KINS 5 Eyewitness News. Voters